Hello, my beautiful beauties and my wonderful lovelies, a pleasant evening to you. Now, I saw the Jamaica Observer's article, breaking news sort of a thing, where it says 17-year-old stab a 16-year-old girl at Kingston Technical High, or Kingston Technical, yeah, high school to death, you know, because she, I guess she never, I don't know, she stabbed her in the neck and she, the victim was rushed to the hospital and succumbed. To her injuries let me tell you there are a plethora of things that are happening you know there's a plethora of things that is happening that are happening in our country and in the homes and i had said in a previous video or videos rather that 90 to 95 percent of what we see display in the society is on the basis of what goes on in the home what is allowed in the home and so on the type of parenting that the child will get or the lack thereof um alongside bad parenting improper parenting is a thing called generational curse and sometimes people may laugh or scoff at that but that is a reality in life there is a thing called generational curse um that follows the third and fourth generation you know from the parents who were disobedient and it's just more than disobedient they were rebellious against god and they chose to stay in rebellion and be mindful that whatever seed a man or woman sows he or she will reap or their offspring will reap and we see different examples in the bible and life you know in today's century of persons who will suffer the consequences because of their four parents bad actions <laughs> i don't know what to say we need to make our call in an election sure sometimes you know you watch tv and you hear how people are vitriolic disrespectful and they dishonor god they dishonor god's people they dishonor people in general they're disrespectful they gloat they revel in it yes some of them they do come from troubled homes and they really need help and i believe in helping people i believe in saving the lost the doctor doesn't come for this for the healthy he or she comes for the sick i believe in that but there has to be a balance where we are where we employ and apply accountability if i get up for example one day and i box the teacher in the face you can't just call me one side you know you might call me aside and say don't ever do that again but you speak to me and said and if i but if i do it repeatedly i need to be held accountable even if i get some psych psychological or psychiatric help follow me on tiktok subscribe to my youtube channel and share